Ownership. What does it mean to truly own something? This concept seems simple, but there's a lot more to it than it may seem. Every day we are faced with challenges, some more pertinent than others, and it is our ability to take ownership over the situations we find ourselves in that defines us. As a freshman goalkeeper on this team, my situation was peculiar. I was the fourth string goalie behind three of the best goalkeepers this conference and country have ever seen. It was weird. I knew I wanted to contribute and win games, but I was unable to pro process how to do so at first. Eventually though, through the guidance of the upperclassmen and coaching staff at the time, I was able to adjust my thought process and ensure my presence would be felt whether I was on the field or not. At first, having been the starter for every team that I played for before this one, this was a tough pill to swallow. By the same token, my situation exposed me to this reoccurring notion of ownership that would make its presence felt time and time again. Everyone can own something. We all own plenty of things. But how many situations do we absolutely take full ownership of? To own what you do every single day can be tough, whether it is owning the fact that you did not study enough for an exam and got a bad grade, or owning the fact that you, you are simply not good enough to be the starting goalkeeper for a top five program in Division Three soccer. Ownership is extremely, extremely important, especially if you want to make progress. It was up to me to own my situation freshman year. It could have been really easy to mentally and physically check out, but I knew deep down that this team deserved my utmost passion and contribution, whether I was on the field or not. Moreover, fast forward three years to this past season, and this idea of ownership truly took form at the most crucial times for us, in turn, playing a huge role in what was our defining moment as seniors and as a team. To devastating injuries to overtime thrillers, it is hard to put my finger on one particular moment that defines such an iconic season in Franklin Marshall soccer history. To be honest, there's really no need to, but I want to anyway. Most are probably thinking it has to be Ben's game winning goal with seven seconds left against Hopkins on homecoming. No. Sorry about that. <laughs> in fact, most of you in this room were not present to witness this year's most defining moment. This is because it happened at the Bagel Shop on Harrisburg Avenue. Yes, the Bagel Shop. Now I know many of you now probably think that this has to involve our beloved team manager, Paul, otherwise known as Big Paul, but alas, it does not. Nonetheless, this extremely significant moment was actually the lowest point our team faced all year. The Dibs had just suffered a sloppy loss to Rowan and an even worse tie to Washington College. Why bring up these bad times? Following these two doozies, the seniors and Jans sat down with one another to discuss what was wrong with us. Everyone felt out of sync. It was apparent that the roles in the team had become blurred by panic and overcompensation. As the brilliant 21 and 22 year olds that we are, we decided to bring the situation to Wags and talk to him about what we thought our issues were. Meeting him at the bagel shop at 7 a.m. Monday morning, we started the meeting by blaming our failures on everything from practice to tactics to personnel. Eventually, Wags decided to take over the meeting, essentially calling every single one of us out, saying that if we wanted to win games, we needed to step up as seniors. We needed to win games for our team. Simple as that, he was right. This blow to our egos was exactly what we needed. This reality check helped us realize that our problems were not coming from the collective unit, but as the nucleus of the team, we needed to step up and take ownership of the problems. Wags knew this, and we did not. Surely, it was only a matter of time after this conversation with Wags that we truly caught fire as a team. The seniors stepped up, and we started steamrolling every team we saw, winning seven of our next eight games, cruising into the playoffs. It only took about three and a half years for this important lesson to fully take shape. Now that I've had the chance to process my four years in this past season, I've discovered a newfound appreciation for this notion, a gratitude that runs deep within most situations that I will be faced with in life.
I cannot express how grateful I am to have been exposed to what it truly means to take ownership over a problem in order to fix it. That being said, being able to recognize the importance of ownership at a time in our careers when it was most crucial not only speaks to the character of the seniors here, but also to the professional values and standards implemented by WAGS and the culture of this program.